Welcome to Change It Up Daily, sponsored by Core Health and Fitness. My name is Abby Apple. Today, we've got a 30-minute bar-based workout. These workouts train the lower body, thighs and seat. We start with a short warm-up followed by three rounds of movement. First round, standing thigh work trains the muscles of the front of the leg. Second round, standing seat work, we train the glutes. And then the last round, we come down to the ground and train more seat, more glutes. These movements use a lot of volume, meaning a lot of reps. We hold things for a long period of time, lots of volume. So take breaks when you need to, make sure you're not sacrificing your technique and your form for intensity. All right, this is your workout. Are you ready to get started? Let's do it. Let's start with the warm up. Keep in mind, you'll need something sturdy to hold on to. Today I'm using a sled. You could use a chair, you could use a table, you could use a couch, just something to put a little bit of weight on, just a drop, and help you with your balance. I'm also using music in the background, which you don't need. I will tell you how many reps we're doing as we go through this. I will also give you all the variations. So we're doing two to four variations for every exercise and four to 16 reps with every variation. All right, let's get going. All right, start with your feet about hip width apart, abs are pulled in, shoulders roll back, tailbone points down. Make sure you've got weight throughout your entire foot. Once again, roll your shoulders back, abs pulled in. Slowly sit back into a squat. Activate the glute stand all the way up. Try that again. Hips go back. Back up two more times. So just four of these. And one last time. Weight goes over the heels. And let's go a little faster for eight. Here's eight. Seven. Nice job. Six. Make sure your knees line up with your second and third toe for four. And three. Last two. Two one more time. Ready? Stay at the bottom. Three pulses. Go. One, two, and three. All the way up. You know we're doing pulses today. Yes. Do that again two more times. And last one. Yes, stand all the way up. Now move to a plie position. Take your hand on your bar. Heels together, toes apart, small B. Tap your inside foot in just a little bit. Tap your outside foot out a little bit. Tailbone points down. So your toes will point to the corners of the room. Slowly sink down into your plie. Now before we go any further, make sure that you see your knees lined up with your second and third toe. Tailbone points down, your back, you want to pretend your back is up against the wall, feel your thighs engaging, stand up, slowly lower down. So down for two, and up, again. Same thing, two more times. Abs are pulled in, shoulders down, one more time. Let's go just a little bit faster for eight. Here's eight, seven. Make sure you keep weight on your heels and your big toes. Four more to go, here's four. Two more times. One more time, let's add to this. Slowly stay down, hold, arms open, bend to your left, center, stand up. Do that again, same thing. So down, left arm over your head, center, back up, let's go faster. We've got one, two, three, again. Make sure the knees, the hips are stable, again. Last two, one more time, pushing the knees open, stand back up, all the way, nice work. Bring your feet back to center, shoulders roll back. Sink back into your squat. Again, two more times. Weight goes back, spread your toes out, one more time. Ready, single squats, here we go. Here's eight, seven, six, five, last four. Two more times. One last time. Come back to your right plie position. Good, roll your shoulders back, tail point, tailbone points down. Sink your seat down between your heels. Shift your weight just a little tiny bit. Push your knees back so they line up with your toes. Stand all the way up. Slowly lower yourself down, same pattern. Same sequence, again, and lower. Abs are pulled in. So we're doing everything on the other side. Hopefully you remember it. One more time slowly. Here we go. Faster, same reps. You've got eight, seven, six. Use just 
start to feel your thighs about now. You've got four. Three, last two. Two, one more time. At the bottom, open your arms, hold. Bend your left. Back to center. Stand up, shoulders down. One more time. Open. Bend. Center. And let's go faster. We've got four. Same pattern again. Three. Two more times. Arms below the shoulders. One more time. And open. And bend. And center. Stand back up. Let's get ready for that workout. We're starting with five more. We've got two different positions. Heels together, toes apart on lateral turnout, and then also up parallel position with heels together and toes together and the legs together. Just two exercises we're doing. Let's start. Start with your hand lightly on the bar. Heels together, toes apart, small feet. Lift your heels up about two inches. Squeeze your sit bones together. Sink your seat down towards your heels. Keep the heels lifted. Abs are pulled in, shoulders go back. Tailbone points down toward the heels. Sink a little bit deeper if it doesn't bother your knees. If not, shorten your range of motion. Abs are pulled in. Start all the way to the top. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Slowly lower down two. And back. Nice. Try that again. Down and down and lift. We've got two more to go. One more time. Feel your back up against that wall. Let's go a little flat faster. Eight. Seven. Good. Again, squeeze your inner thighs together. We've got four. And three. Two. Could we do eight more? Let's do it. We've got eight. Seven. Are you keeping your heels lifted? Are you squeezing your inner thighs together? Tailbone points down the whole time. Two more. One more time, skip the bottom. Come up one inch. So it's up, hold. Up, hold, no arms. Up, hold. So it's up an inch, pretend if somebody walked in the room, it would look like you were not moving. It's that small. Ready, let's do eight more of these. Here's eight. Seven, could you go an inch deeper? Six. Five. We've got four. Three, last two. Good, last one, stay at the bottom. Pulse down, we have eight, six, four, three, two, eight more to go. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, pelvic tilt. So tilt really small. So the tailbone points down, just enough to bring our spines to neutral, and then a slight posterior tilt. Two more. Get ready, let's combine that. Pulse down, we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, four pelvic tilts. Go four, three, could we cut this in half? Are we ready? Four pulses down for four, three, two, two pelvic tilts. One more time, four pulses down. Could you go an inch deeper? Two pelvic tilts. Could you lift your heels higher? How about two pulses down? One pelvic tilt. Two pulses down. One pelvic tilt. Two more times. Yes, I'm feeling my thighs. One pelvic tilt. Last one. Nice. Stand all the way up and lower your heels. Shake out your legs. Shake out your feet. Both hands on your fake bar. Inner thighs connected, parallel position. Lift your heels up to your four inches. And again, sink your seat down towards your heels. So your shoulders and your hips and your ankles create one line. Abs are pulled and start at the top. Slowly lower down for two and up for two. Again, and down two and up. Can we do this four more times? Do you feel your legs stay connected? Abs are still pulled in. Two more times. How high are your heels? Two inches? Three inches? Four inches? Get ready. Let's go faster. We've got eight, seven, six, five. Last four. Here's four. Three, last two. Two, one more. Stay at the bottom. Oh, one inch up. Anybody see my legs shaking? They are. Again, only eight of these. We've got this now. 
Four more to go. Push one a little deeper. Two more to go. Get ready. Let's finish off at the bottom. Little pulses down. Press. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Could you do eight more? We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Stand all the way up and lower your heels. Up next is seat work standing, my favorite segment. This trains the glutes. All of our movements are in what we call the fold over position. If you need a modification, stand up just a little bit taller. Good, but try to keep that nice long line from your head to your hips all the way to your foot. All right, let's do this. Start by facing your bar. Walk your hips back. Create that nice straight line from your head all the way to your hips. Pull your abdominals up. Put the weight in your right foot. Extend your left hip behind you. Reach your left leg up to the ceiling. Rotate your hips toward the floor and rotate your top knee so it points to the floor. Reach in through your toe, abs are pulled in, tailbone tilts under slightly, eyes are lifted, slowly lower your leg down toward the floor, and lift back up. Down and down and lift. Notice you're moving your leg, that's the only thing moving. Your back is nice and straight, and down and down, and let's go a little bit faster. So down. You should feel your support leg working more than your moving leg. Yes, by the time this is over. Again, square your hips, eight more to go. So how much weight do you have on your bar? Again, the weight of one or two fingers, I'll take that. The weight should primarily be into that bottom leg. Two more times, one more time, hold your leg up, one inch lift, one inch hold, one inch hold, is your leg straight? Can you squeeze your quadricep muscle a little bit more? Lift and lengthen. Good. Again, we've got eight more reps. Remember, it's four to 16 reps of every variation. Four more times to go. Can you soften your support leg just a little bit more and bend the knee a little more? Yes. Get ready. Hold your leg up. Little pulses press. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, eight more to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bend your support knee, so down and lift. So now your top leg is moving with your bottom leg. Again, as you're coming down, it feels like you're shifting back just a little bit. Can we do this eight more times? Here's eight, seven, six, Five, last four, here's four, and three, two more. Are you gripping the floor with your bottom foot? Stay at the bottom, pulse down, press, eight, six, four, three. How about eight more? Do it, you got this, go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold right here. Can you lift one arm up? Can you lift the other arm up? Yes, for four, for three, for two, and stand all the way up. Oh, shake out your legs. Beautiful, that leg, the support leg. Cross that leg over the other leg. Feel your hips stretching, stay right there as I change the music. All right, did you get a good stretch? Let's do the other side. Hands on your bar. Walk your hips back. Soften your knees. Tailbone points down slightly. Reach your right leg behind you. Make sure the leg is parallel. Lift your leg up toward the ceiling. Rotate your hips toward the floor. Then once again, tilt your tailbone under. Pull your abs in and squeeze your quadricep muscle. Support a slightly bent. Eyes are lifted. Here we go. Slowly lower your leg. So down, down, and lift. Now I can bet that top leg, that top glute is a little tired now. Yes, and it should be. So make sure your weight is primarily in the heel of your support leg. Let's go faster for eight. Seven. Good. Don't forget you're halfway there. We've got four. Three, because you sink deeper into your support leg. We've got eight more to go. Here's eight. 
seven. So on this whole round, 16 reps for every variation. Two more. Ready, last one. Hold your leg up one inch up. Just up hold. Could you sink deeper into your support leg? Can you reach more through your top toes? Abs are pulled in, that's it. Feel the glute on your support side working. Eight more to go. Here's eight, seven, six, five, last four. Are your hips staying square? Are you squeezing your quadricep muscle? Get ready, hold your leg up, little pulses press. Eight, six, four, three, you have eight more to go. Here's eight, seven, six, five, sharpen the top, get ready. Bend your support knee. So down and lift, down and lift. Now this is where that fatigue should start to creep in to your glute. And again, we've got this now, you're almost done. Eight more, are your shoulders square? Breathing, come on, this is it, almost done. How tight is your top leg? That's it, is it down here? No, it's up there. Get ready, last one, stay at the bottom. Pulse down, go, press. Tiny, tiny, tiny. This is it. Eight more to go. Last eight, seven, six, five, four. One more challenge. Stay where you are. Can you reach one arm up? Can you hold that position to reach the other arm up? Arms back down and stand up. Woo! Seat work standing is done. You can use a loop band or no equipment at all. I promise you, you will still feel this. Glutes, hips, even your core. So lie sideways. Find some nice 90 degree angles, maybe a mat, a towel, something that gives you a reference. All right, your lie sideways. Try to line your back up with a flat angle. Bring your knees right in front of your navel. Legs come in front. Toes come up, ankles are, are plantar legs, hand on the floor, give you a little bit of support through your lower back, abs are pulled in. Open your knee up, feel your hip engaging, feel your glute, and lower your leg. Slowly open your leg back up, keep your toes connected, and try to keep your ankles in a neutral position. And down, again, one more time, and open. Let's go a little bit faster, we've got eight. Seven. So this is our first exercise of two on the same side. Take breaks when you need. Again, let's do this eight more times since we're using no external weight. When you get to the top of the movement, try to engage your food, try to squeeze. Abs are still pulled in. We've got four. Three, last two. Good, last one, hold your leg up. One inch at the top. Now you might start to feel your bottom leg as much as your top leg. Again, small. I know that one inch of movement. You've got eight more to go, same thing. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Shoulders are down and relax for four. Are you feeling your glute now? Are you feeling your hip? Get ready, last one. Hold your leg up, little pulses press, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's try that again. Press eight, seven, six, five, four, three. One more variation. Lower your knees. Open your knees. So close your knees, lower your feet. Open your knees, lift your feet. Down slowly and open again. Get ready. Here we go. Faster for eight. So eight. Seven, so you're pushing your top knee toward the ceiling. Four more to go, here's four. Three, last two. Two, one more time, and rest right there, rest. So you get to rest both legs. Next exercise, same side. Totally different movement, take your leg out in front of you. Make sure your foot's lined up with your hip or your navel. Lift your foot up, turn your toe down slightly. So tap your toe. Tap and lift. 
So how high are you lifting your leg? Just slightly above your hip. Tap and lift, and tap and lift. Abs are pulled in. Now get ready, half circle. So tap a little bit above your bottom knee and a little below your bottom knee. Tap, and tap again. Four, three, two, can we do eight more of these, I think? We've got eight, seven, six, five. Are you feeling your hip now? For four, three, two, same movement, but a little bit faster. So same range of motion, tap, tap, tap. Good, almost there. Try to keep your leg lined up over the other leg. Stacked. Two more. One more time. Hold your leg in the middle, little pulses to finish. Reach, reach. Now your leg's a little more parallel. Yes, instead of turned down or rotated in, you've got eight, seven, six, five. Yes, my hip is burning. Three, two, and rest. Are you ready for the other side? All right, shake out your hip. Let's switch legs. Changing the music. All right, that was almost five minutes on one side. All right, so you're lying the same way. Line your hips, your shoulders, your back with your mat or your towel. Bring your knees in front of you. So your knees line up with your hip or your navel, 90 degrees. Toes come up, abs are pulled in. Hand on the floor, support your back and shoulders. Open your top knee until you feel your glute start to engage. Abs are engaged. Slowly lower, get ready, let's open and close. So, open and close, this is it. Same thing. Now you're gonna to start to feel your bottom hip working more than your top hip. I know it's stabilizing. That was already eight, let's do eight more. We've got eight, seven. You might see me take a little break in the middle of this, because my bottom leg is on fire right now. We've got four, three, Two, one more, hold your leg up, one inch, one inch. Could you drop your foot if you needed to? Yes, of course, one inch. Because at this point I know it's the bottom leg that's starting to struggle. Small, good, almost there. We've got eight more. Here's eight, seven. Can you see me gripping the floor like a tree frog? Yeah, we want to try to avoid that. Four, two more. Last one, ready? Hold your leg up, little pulses, press. Eight, six, four, three, eight more to go, almost there. Press eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Close your knees, lower your feet. Open your knees, lift your feet. Again, slowly and open. It's like adding insult to injury, yes, I know. And one more time, and then we pick up the pace, here we go, faster, press, down, and open, down, and open. Now you feel your top leg, yes, more than the bottom leg. Go four, three, last two, one more time, yes, and lower your feet and your knees. Are you ready for the last exercise? That's it, all right. Reach your leg up in front of you, make sure your legs are stacked, knees are still in line with your hip or your navel, lift your foot, Rotate your foot in, now tap the floor. So you're really rotating your hip or rotating your femur in just a little bit so your knee points down. That's it, just a little tap on the floor. Now you feel the top hip, yes? So how high is the leg coming? Just a little bit above the hip. Down and lift. Yes, we are so close. We've got four more. And then we change the direction. The little half circles, do we remember? Ready, here we go to the front. So it's front and back. So above your bottom knee and below your bottom knee. Tap and tap. Now to make sure we stay even, we've got eight more to go. Here's eight, seven, almost there, six, five, four. You might feel the scar. Three, two, Let's pick up the pace. Here we go. Here's eight, seven, I know, six, five. Here's four, three, last two. This is it. One more time. Bring your leg back to the middle and pulse last. Tight.
almost there. This is it. Last eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo! Did you feel that? I did. Done with the workout, let's move on to the stretch. Your stretches can be done on the floor or standing, and I will give you some modifications because I know the bar can be a little high, especially if we lack mobility in our hips and flexibility in our hamstrings. So we're going to start with our hands on the bar. One leg comes down to the floor. Flex your foot and push your hip back until you feel a stretch in your hamstring. Now, for a little bit more intensity or more stretch, if you can reach that same leg up to the bar, just your toes, stand up nice and tall, and then hinge at the hip until you feel that stretch again through the back of the leg and the hamstring. You don't even need to go any further, but if you can, go ahead and hinge more. And hold that for about 10 seconds. Hips are square, legs are parallel. And then turn sideways, whether your foot's on the floor or standing. And then bend sideways here. Feel the stretch once again through your obliques, even into your hip flexor. All the way through the ribs. And stand back up. Same leg that's up. Cross that leg over your support knee and sit back into a glute stretch. Move your hips around just a little tight, but sink a little deeper into the stretch. Take a few deep breaths. Stand back up, same leg you've been stretching. Hold on to your bar or your couch or your chair with one hand. Grab on your foot, your ankle, your heel. Tuck your tailbone under. Activate the glutes. Open the hip flexor. Open the quadricep muscles just a little tiny bit. And even from there, let the weight of your leg pull your shoulder back to get you in a better position. All right, other side. Leg can start on the floor here, hinging at the hip. Hamstring stretch, back is nice and straight. For more intensity, take that same foot up to your bar, hinge at your hip, square your hips so all 10 toes point in the same direction. Feel a stretch through the back of that top leg. Try to keep the leg nice and long. Nice, stand back up, same leg. Cross that leg over the top of your knee. Sit back. Feel your glute stretch, your external rotators stretching. Move your hips around just a little tiny bit. Stand back up again. Grab onto your foot, your ankle, your heel. Once again, tilt your tailbone under. Activate your glutes. You can see right here that I've got extremely tight the flexors. Open your chest. I do a lot of cycling. Indoor cycling, that is. Pull your shoulder back. And one more stretch for the lower body. Hands on your bar. Step back with one foot. Feel your calf stretch. As you press your heel down, try to bend your back knee so you feel the stretch a little bit lower into the calf. And then straighten your back knee a little higher into the calf. Once again, lower. Stand back up, other side, reach back with one heel. Again, let your parallel. up. Leg is straight to begin, press your heel down. Keep the back knee down to try to bend the back knee underneath you to feel the stretch lower into the gap. Once again, straighten your leg. Bring yourself back up, walk your hips back, move your hips around, a little stretch for your lower back. Roll yourself all the way back up. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Thank you.